All right, welcome back. This is the Space Coast Real Estate Show, and I am one of the three hosts here. My name is Jesse, and I'm with EXP Realty. I uh, serve uh, folks buying, selling, or investing right here on the Space Coast of Florida. And with me, to my right, Mr. Michelli. John, how are you, buddy? I'm doing good. John Michelli, Movement Mortgage Loan Apply Approved.com. And I have a new thing, too. What's that? I am now a Homes for Hero lender. Yay. Oh, yeah. So if you're a medical teacher, military, any kind of hero, give me a call. And that web address is heroes dot loan dot apply dot no loan heroes. Get dot, it right. It's new. I know. Heroes dot loan apply approved dot com. I That's love it. it. One more time. Heroes dot loan apply approved dot com. Well, I'm a jukebox hero. Oh. And Michelle, how are you today? I'm doing pretty good. And Michelle's with uh, Inspiring Homes, staging and redesign. How have you been? We're doing good. We've got a uh, condo in Cocoa Beach we just finished up. Oh, nice. Um, I can't investment wait to see property pics. in Rockledge. We're doing one in Palm Bay tomorrow. So we've been busy. I That's just awesome. eavesdropped on one hell of a testimonial oh. from Michelle. She <laughs> really? The, that woman was praising her up and down and all around. And what a great job she did. Well, well Thank deserved. You. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. And with us today in the studio, yeah. Michelle, you um, you knew our guest before. We have, we've met, and, and so chatted a little I, bit I think I think you you invited her to the show. Yeah. So if you'd like to do the honors and introduce okay. our guest, I hope I'll get your last name right. But Don't even <laughs> worry about it. <laughs> 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 we have Amy, and she's here with Elon Builders, and she's going to explain a little bit about the company itself, okay. the product, um, the innovation and the technology that they put into the pro their product Excellent. and just a lot of really cool things that they do and how to get in touch with them where to build and if you're interested and everything so we're gonna yeah. have so a we'll lot of great information from them today well i'm a big fan of elon builders mm -hmm. i previewed i think their model the beautiful when models. they first built and it, it, what's really cool about modern duran it's a it's a very exclusive mm -hmm. uh what is it 14 15 home sites it's 19 in total 19, 19. now yeah, okay. gated and it's gated but it's just a really small enclave and you're like right on the fairway mm -hmm. yes and it's actually the last opportunity right now to build yeah. on the golf course oh, it's the only, only undeveloped one. is that right yeah wow well breaking news guys yeah so Better jump on that if, if, if you like what we if you like what you hear about the you know the builder themselves and of course Amy's gonna share everything they do all the all the different things that make what what is modern like what is modern architecture and, and, mm -hmm. and maybe we could start with that okay well I think when most people think of modern architecture mm -hmm. that first thought is a 1980s movie <laughs> all white red leather couch with silver right. feet mm -hmm. you know th but no <laughs> it's not that right, right. <laughs> I mean it can be not if that's your thing um, but it's 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 sleek, clean lines. You're mm. not interrupted with a lot of, you're not going to see a lot of hardware. Things are going to be, you know, uh, cabinets are going to be flush mount and yeah. you're going to have uh, baseboards are going to be straight, mm. straight across, uh, no molding across uh, in the ceiling, no ceiling mm. trim and stuff like that. And then, you know, the exterior elevation, of course, as well. But yeah. it's really, uh, the Elan line is a, a focus on that clean lines, sleek, and then a, uh, really beautiful marriage of indoor and outdoor spaces. Mm -hmm. I love that look. Mm -hmm. And it works the, for Florida. The mm -hmm. one sure model does. that I saw, it's like it's almost like a courtyard. Like you walk into the big door, mm -hmm. and then you have like a casita. Yes, casita. You, uh, yes, you know, and and it, it's it's hard to describe. It's like a mother-in-law suite, but mm -hmm. but it's but anyway. The, but the it's it's still covered. Right. Right. So you're not you're, you're not it's not it doesn't feel like a separate part of the home even though it's it is a separate part of the home. Right. That would be the Aspen model, which was their first model. Yes. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I I just love that design because mm -hmm. you walk in and, and again you're at a, a, a covered uh, courtyard kind of I don't know how I was explain it, but it's like an it's like an entrance mm -hmm. yes. to the the home, but you're still outside. Mm -hmm. If right. that makes sense. And you, you know left. I mean I think they had it like like a cabana decor like it was very like in out the uh, sliders were like seamless and it, it comes back from a corner yes and peels away so you could have like the whole corner exposed mm -hmm. and it's like a very highly functional <laughs> very cool entertaining like uh, and then there's a and this a really small 
like intimate pool mm -hmm. like almost like, like a splash pool yeah. yeah it's really all you need right just to get wet and and relax mm -hmm. and then of course a view of the golf course which for me was you know, like if i had the money i would have pulled the trigger a long time ago um but it is one of those you know but modern and and what elon did is build something that's it's it's a little bit of a jump from typical homes yes. as far as like the pricing and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I loved about it was all the detail and you know the the finishes, the the the, the tech mm -hmm. you know within it as well. Like it had a smart brain. Like you walk in and you could e easily manage everything from a little smart pad. And mm -hmm. is and is that something that is is inherent with that build or is that just all modern? S well, that's um, some of the smart technology is common. So right. Let's backtrack. So yes. Elon Builders is owned by Christopher Burton, right. who everybody knows from Christopher Burton Luxury Homes. So uh, if you build with him with a Burton home right. or a lawn build, you're going to get a few of those features. But then, like anything he does, it's fully customizable. So right. you can take it from, hey, I'm I'm not a I'm not a geek. I'm not I'm into smart tech. <laughs> right. I don't I don't want my house to talk to me. Right. I don't want it to listen to me. <laughs> you can do that. I I know we uh, we do come with the the control uh, technology with the le the Nest thermometer. Right. Say that three times fast. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, <laughs> But you can you can optimize it as as much or as little as you want. You know we've got tankless water heaters, which is common anyway in our builds now. But right. um, I ha I didn't see the, the the little iPad or tablet thing that you were talking about. But I've heard so much about that as well as the Casita because yeah. that model sold before my time. But um, everybody talks about it. It's it, it was luxurious. The they have these blinds that come down and follow the yes. sun mm. to always keep the sun. O I mean. Tech, I mean, technology. Like yes. Automated guys. Yes. Like, nice. like you don't have to think about these things that are happening, and I'm just like, oh my goodness. But the staircase. I mean, anyway. So I I love modern style. Mm -hmm. Some people yeah, are like, well, well, you know, but I don't know if I like a flat roof system. I don't know if I like that. You know. So there's a couple other things that people may may stay away or they feel like it's a fishbowl because there's so much glass mm -hmm. and stuff like right. that so there's a lot of like natural light I'm like don't you like natural light they're like well i just feel like you know people can look in but a lot of that is defeated with the technology correct so it's it's built in a way that it takes advantage of all the light and right. and but like you said with the automatic blinds mm -hmm. you're you're not running into the the, the sun at the end of the day it, it knows to come down and the way that they're built and the way that they're laid out at least mm -hmm. in this community on the lots right they're actually built in a way that it prevents visibility to the neighbor anyway. So exactly. you're, you're not really worried. I mean, obviously you're on a golf course, so there's going to be some people going by on their mm -hmm. golf carts and so forth, but that's only during the day. Exactly. So, and, um, and I just love that it's only 19 homes Yes. in, in modern Duran and you're right there by the courthouse. So for a judge lawyer, mm -hmm. <laughs> you yeah. know, you, you may want to, you know, think about getting into something like that. Well, it's, it's kind of nice. We say your neighbors are only around from eight to four, Monday through Friday, not on right. holidays or weekends. <laughs> <That's right>. <laughs> so <laughs> anytime you want to be throwing a party, your neighbors exactly. aren't there. No, mm. uh, but it's actually a really great community too. If mm. for second homeowners, uh, because mm. it is it landscaping right. and lawn is included. So oh, wow. it's like you just, Lock the door, leave. Mm -hmm. You're yep. in a gated community. Your house is, you know, taken care of. Your lawn is taken care of. So we, we find that it's very popular with second homeowners. A lot of people from South Florida really dig it, especially right. obviously the style yeah. feels very similar to what they're used to down there. Exactly. Yep. And it's it's kind of funny when I first uh, met Chris, I said to him, I just want to thank you. He goes for what? I said for bringing this, for knowing that Brevard County was ready for this. Right. Mm -hmm. When they when he launched the brand, I was an immediately enamored by it mm -hmm. i love the designs and the floor plans at modern duran were actually he worked on those with phil keen uh architect out of winter park who's nationally that's what i remember yes. mm -hmm. yeah. yeah so it was an acclaimed architect like yes. these are like award-winning floor plans yes mm -hmm. yeah. yes absolutely and so he worked very closely with him because he loves his style yeah. um they worked together in the past and he said i want to bring this look here mm -hmm. But if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right. Mm -hmm. uh, and that means I want to partner with you. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. What other uh, projects? Um, I know there's a new community as well, not too far from Modern Duran, uh, a higher end, luxurious. Um, uh, are we talking about Adelaide? Adelaide? Yes. Yep. Adelaide and Vieira. Yep. yep. So Adelaide and Vieira is a beautiful community. It's got four mm. separate areas. We've got mm. uh, the reserve, which are large estate type lots. Right. 
Um, we've got the lakes. You're on. There's a 120 acre lake. It's, it's really beautiful. A big lake. Like mm-hmm. you could kayak and do all kinds yes. of things in there. Yeah, yeah. You, you absolutely can. You can yeah. even have um, electric motored oh, uh, is that right? watercraft. How yeah. fun! I know. I know. Yeah. No. It's yeah. it's incredible sunsets because mm-hmm. you're all the way there on the west side of Viera. Right. And uh, we're actually Elan. We're going to be building not only a new model coming soon in Modern Durand, but also one in the park section of Adelaide which is when you first come into the community, right. there's some lots off to the left-hand side that's mm-hmm. called the park, and then the preserve is the further back portion. So you've got those four separate communities, also gated. Reserve is a second gated. So wow. you're in my What kind of lot sizes are they? Uh, so they range anywhere from about a quarter of an acre, third of an acre, to just shy, or I think just over an acre, depending uh, which oh, part nice. of the community. Mm-hmm. Yeah, every, every home, I mean, they're, they're you just can't build anything as a builder. You don't. You have to like qualify, mm-hmm. and I th- w- and I th- believe there's a minimum square footage. There is a minimum square footage yeah. within each section, and I've got it in a list down there. Okay. Or you can check, you know, okay. on our website, of course. You can tell we're excited about everything that is is coming to the not only Vieira but Brevard in general. Yeah. Um, and when you have guys like Chris who are you know that pioneer, you know, to kind of bring us something new and exciting. Yeah, you we know, need that here. We, we mm-hmm. all talk yeah. about it. You know, I'm not sure about, um, you know, the rest of you, but I, having grown up in South Florida and having lived around uh, the state, I, I kind of like, you know, big homes, I, I, uh, you know, big estates, mm-hmm. uh, waterfront homes, golf course, you know, homes. I mean, it's yeah, all about the too. lifestyle. Yeah. And if you, when you incorporate lifestyle, you know, it's, a, it's, it does matter where you put that home. Mm-hmm. It doesn't make sense to put a 3,500 square foot beautiful home next to, you know, um, smaller homes or you know you don't want to be the biggest guy in the, in on the block uh but you also don't want to put it like s- maybe somewhere that's like a lot of exposure you know like or maybe on the river or something you know some people mm-hmm. just like a, a community where it's gated and there's other like homes mm-hmm. lo- other like-minded neighbors mm-hmm. who all share in that lo- you know wanting that that luxurious feel right and so when you share that i think that's that's what's magical and i didn't know there was going to be a market for that too i look around and go i'm like well that's a lot of house but people are, are, I mean, we, we, we thought the same thing with Summer Lakes, mm-hmm. which was adjacent. And now Adelaide's like, I mean, it almost has like Summer Lakes guys going, what's going on <laughs> over oh, there? Oh, it actually does <laughs> yeah. have the Summer Lakes <laughs> people <laughs> going, yes. how do I get a lot in here? Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yes, yeah. absolutely. It's, it's um, I've been told it's similar to, it's it's not obviously a, a second phase of Summer Lakes, but it's it complements Summer Lakes because yeah. Summer Lakes was really the only mm-hmm. uh, community in the area there of that kind of caliber. caliber. Yeah, and yeah. Mm-hmm. Adelaide is just right there and yeah. up. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. It's amazing how much that area has grown. It's just really exploded. Oh my goodness, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the people are flocking and they are <coughs> consuming and it's and it's they're great. Still coming. And um uh, <laughs> and Vera yeah. has so much cool product, you know, that they're that they're doing. You know, again, a One master planned option. community, you know, mm-hmm. we have to mention that. Modern Duran is a is a very exclusive part of that cuz n- it looks like nothing else. Mm-hmm. I mean, not not the um, uh, you know the, the the fairways of Duran and you know right. some of the neighboring mm-hmm. uh, homes around there because uh, it's not I- isolated by itself at all. No, it's, it's just a, it's like a little finger that um, you know, and it's like w- you know one drive in and out. You know, it's mm-hmm. it's not like right it's behind a the courthouse. Yeah, it's, it's not like it's it's a big. Um, it's it's almost oh. hard to find if you don't know what mm-hmm. you're looking for. Kind of tucked away. Yeah, it's a little. And so it, 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 it's it's exclusive, mm-hmm. you know, and and uh, but I like I like that it's a product where all the other ones look like. Yes, you know mm-hmm. that that modern style because to put that kind of home with a lot of Mediterranean or oh, some other kind of architecture, it would kind of like clash. Yeah, you right. see that sometimes around here yeah. in certain areas where there's it's not a, a you know a community, and you'll see somebody has that traditional right. Florida Mediterranean tile barrel mm-hmm. tile right. roof, and then you'll see a brick house, <laughs> and you you just wait what you yeah. know, but no. It, it, Hundred percent. People that choose modern Duran really love the fact that everybody else in the mm-hmm. neighborhood has a modern home. Now right. it's not. We don't build spec, so it's mm-hmm. it's not. You're not going to see um, three homes with the same elevation and the same street. Right. It is completely custom. So right. every home will be custom. You may have the same floor plan mm-hmm. as a neighbor a few houses down, but you're going to. Ha- you're probably not going to have the exact same floor plan. Let's be honest, because right. you're going right. to customize it in some way. But uh, your elevation is going to be completely different. All mm-hmm. the finishes and so forth are unique to that home, that that homeowner. And when you mention elevation, for some for some people who may not be familiar with that uh, yes. that term, the facade, the yes. front of the home, right. mm-hmm. because yeah. you could choose Exterior. to have, you know, a paved driveway. Or I think in Vieira you have to have paved driveway. 
I, I, I think I, I think I may have heard have that or not. I don't know that. So in Adelaide, yes, we do mm -hmm. have pavered driveways. Right. I can't picture my driveway in Modern Duran right now, but I don't think it is pavered. So what's cool about, I think, um, what I saw at Modern Duran was these big concrete pieces it's divided by the grass. Okay, that's yeah. why. I, that's what mm -hmm. I'm thinking. Yes, so you're right. And, and uh, that's included in the elevation. I mean, it's from, it's from pretty much it's the driveway all the way yeah. up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and, and it includes uh, landscaping and so forth. Mm -hmm. But I, I love that. And, um, and Vera, for people who don't know, mm -hmm. it has, um, you know, utilities are underground. Yes. So there's no, like, weird... Phone power cables, line. power lines, <laughs> um, all the utilities are underground, and everything's gas. Mm -hmm. So you have the gas appliances, you know, the tankless water heater, again, on gas. So if you lose power, you still have a hot shower, if I'm correct, right? I would, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, it, just these kind of amenities just make that kind of living so much more desirable and mm -hmm. luxurious. And, so, and these, these, these little things mm -hmm. that just are, whether they're inherent in Vera or, you know, the Chris Burton um, products, um, they they just they just elevate that style and it just makes everything look that much, you know, cleaner and neater and mm -hmm. I, just, I just love that especially when there's a theme going on. Mm -hmm. so I, I'm just I think we discussed this. I'm a big theme guy. Right. Yeah, <laughs> I love themes. There's a Burton and house built in Indy Atlantic on for Riverside and mm -hmm. I, it was near my neighborhood, so I wa I watched it go up and I was like, wow, that's an that's an amazing house. Uh, mm -hmm. If it's the one I'm, th I believe you're thinking of that is in a lawn. Mm -hmm. And yes. It's yep. Yeah, it's an Elan build, and it has the same turf <laughs> in between. Yeah. Yep. It's that That's the way the, 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 the turf. I don't know. If, I don't want to call it astroturf, but right, the right. turf in between yep. the, the the pavers, pavers like that. Mm. So yeah. it's got that. It's sharp. It that's what made really me. Really that's mm -hmm. what it reminded is. me of that house because yeah. I seen them putting that driveway, yeah. and I was like, wow, you should that's see the cool. backyard. <laughs> and so, and then w didn't one? Of the, I think the house next door just sold, or did that Elon build s sell in in uh, off Riverside? So I wouldn't know about a resale. No. No. I think I think it, uh, I saw a sign in the yard and then it disappeared. So I'm, I'm assuming it, it got sold. That's the biggest pool cage I've ever seen in my life. Oh uh, <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> it goes above the roof. Yeah, it goes above. Wow. Yes, it's like taller than the house. It towers. It's a man. It's a beautiful backyard. Yeah. it's absolutely stunning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so of course I, nothing, you nothing he's ever built. Right. You, 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 everything is stunning. Yeah. Does Does um, Chris only build in Brevard County? No, actually, no. We've got a project right now down in uh, Vero. And uh, I know he's done. I want to say he's done something towards Orlando more, but no, mm -hmm. we're we're not we're not only Brevard. Cool. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about the gated communities. What gated communities? If someone wanted to build in a gated community but wanted the Elon product, what gated communities are you guys in right now? So currently, we are in Modern Duran, and we're in Adelaide. And actually, Modern Duran and Adelaide are the only communities in Vieira right now that you can mm -hmm. walk in and we can write you a contract. We can put a lot on hold and we can write right. a contract. Everywhere else, I believe, are doing lot lotteries yeah. right now. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. we're it. All right. Yeah. yeah. How many lots do you have in the Modern Duran left? Ten. Ten. Okay. Yeah, and we're putting we're about to start building a model on one of those lots, which I believe has not been sold yet. So uh, I know a lot of people really uh, – really go nuts for anything any of the models because mm -hmm. it's, it's a really good deal you still get to pick pick out kind right. of how you want it to look and uh so that that one will become available and which floor plan is that that's going to be the polaris Pol i don't think i've seen that one no um no i don't think so no no yeah i guess i gotta check it out yeah when's the completion date I don't know i don't think permits have been uh finalized oh, yet so i can't even, even oh, speak to that yet oh, this is yet. Like yeah <laughs> um, well, that's kind of exciting. <laughs> yeah. well, I'll, I'll, We've I also got an Elan model coming up in Adelaide, Adelaide. At, uh, that we're building in the park. I think I mentioned that. Mm. Um, and Burton, we're hoping, I think, by the end of this year or the fall, by Parade of Homes, mm. to have the new Christopher Burton mm -hmm. model in Adelaide, which nice. I can't – guys, it's going to be – it's bananas. <laughs> it's bananas. Bananas. Yeah. bananas. Now, how many square feet is that going to be compared to the modern Duran? <laughs> the new model – think it's about 6,000 square feet. Jeez. I, know, I think. That's a big that's home. Big. But you know what? You don't notice it. I'm yeah. When I when I first joined the company uh, and I got a, a tour of all of the neighborhoods right. and homes and I was, the girl I was with, she was saying, oh yeah, and that's like 6,000. I go, how? Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like it. You know, it, it's got such a, uh, a beautiful front elevation mm -hmm. uh, where you, it doesn't look like this massive behemoth of a, of a house. Mm -hmm. It's fascinating how they how they right. position them on the lot it's all so technical yeah. mm -hmm. that's one thing i can say that i have really taken away from uh the short time i've been with the company is how technical everything how precise everything mm. is from the way the the 
home is placed on the lot. Right. I mean, every detail, mm -hmm. things you wouldn't even know to pay attention to. Well thought out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really well thought we out. We were talking about some of the um, finishes with the crown molding, or the, not the crown molding, the but trim. some of the trim, the wood that he you know uses because yes. of the quality. Yeah, so one of the things that we have to talk a lot about is what goes into the Burton home or what goes into the Elan build because the price point can sometimes people will will kind of go wait it's you know where is that price coming in well there's many factors but one of them is the materials and mm -hmm. when it comes to the trim uh, Chris told me he goes I only use poplar because it's not gonna warp it's not gonna uh, it, it's not gonna pull away from the wall it's not gonna bend uh, but poplar doesn't come primed, so it's an extra step, and mm -hmm. it has the molding itself has to be it's it's custom done. It's mm -hmm. not stock, so right. any any sort of detailing to the molding, it's being that's a big extra step. Absolutely, mm -hmm. it's a big extra step. It's a uh, you know so he's he works with tradesmen that um, he's he's worked with for a long time that he's gotten honed down that process, and mm -hmm. they know what he wants and what it needs to look like and. So it's custom all the way down to the baseboards. Oh, everything. <laughs> you know, really. It, it really truly is. And mm -hmm. that's the thing. It's a custom home. So, yes, we have floor plans. And mm -hmm. you can start with one of our floor plans. But no one ever takes just, you know, the full floor, right. floor plan. Everybody wants to tweak something. And you'll run into that a lot of times with, um, like, a portfolio builder. Well, you say, well, can I move this wall? Or I want to I open up this, you know, this room here a little bit more. And they go, mm, sorry, we can't do that. Right. Yeah. Nothing's out of the question. Right. As, as you long can as you've move got the black lines. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. No, yeah. it's fully custom, so um, you can. Yeah. I mean, you can put right. millions of dollars. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Coming from a designer, oh, I'm um, sure. I've been in the model. Yes. You know, they're at Modern Duran, and it is beautiful. You know, some of the technology, of course, but just some of the finishes and and the the character. The you know. Modern is not my thing. Mm -hmm. My husband loves it. We, you know, discuss this often, but I very much, even though it's not something that I feel like I could live in, mm -hmm. I very much appreciate it because of the quality, the aesthetics, you know, bringing that outdoor in and it doesn't feel cold and sterile like a lot of modern, you know, yes. people as assume or feel, you know, or, or we hear associate that, that all the time, mm -hmm. all the time is I would not have expected that it to feel so cozy, cozy with warm. 20 foot ceilings right. how is that possible and it's it's <laughs> all in the way that chris and phil worked those floor plans and mm. and just he has an eye and mm -hmm. so you don't have that sterile that right. cold feeling right. that like i said that's typical is that you associate with the you know modern, modern. design mm -hmm. and we've staged some of the homes you know like in summer lake like you were talking about that's the older Christopher Burton, but they're still beautiful, and you know I don't know what years those were built. That was before we lived here, but um, definitely a, a they quality. They stand the test of time. They the do quality, quality mm -hmm. you know, and that's only comes from that quality material that yeah. the home is going to last and and still look that that pristine. So I talk a lot with our construction managers, um, you know, day to day as they're coming in and out of the office, or if I see them on site, and they are so proud of the work that they do and mm -hmm. the attention to detail that they put into it. Um, uh, there's one I know he, he explained to me how precise the sight lines are and his grout lines. He goes, you're not going to see a grout line that doesn't line up with that door jam or mm -hmm. that. However mm -hmm. he said right. it, you know, it's, it, and that's when it's you go important. into a Burton home mm -hmm. or in a lawn build, it feels different, but mm -hmm. you don't actually know why. why? Mm -hmm. And I, I actually just said this on a, on a little promo that I was just doing. It's 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 the things you don't see that are what are most recognizable. And mm -hmm. again, it's you don't even know why, but you know you're in a Burton home, and it's because it is it is designed so precise and um, so particular that it's completely harmonious. Mm -hmm. And and you can sense it, but you can't put your finger. You on can't it. know. You, yeah, you, exactly. So um, you know, our construction managers they they are. Um, real experts in, in making sure they know what Chris wants, they know what Chris <laughs> likes, and they, uh, they're they really proud of the work that they get to do for, for him and for the company mm -hmm. to make it feel that way. Yeah, the craftsmanship. craftsmanship is very important. 100%. Mm -hmm. And I'm an uh, appliance snob, <laughs> and I love the appointed uh, appliances. The dishwasher is, like, seamless. Like, there's no, like, handles. I mean, they're just they're all those kind of, like, blends. I love the quartz. I love the um, waterfall quartz. Mm. I, so pretty. So good. Um, <laughs> and and e but even the sinks and even the faucet, mm -hmm. like everything's like you know touch or or like you wave a Ocean. hand and it goes on like. 
which is great, you know, because, you know, sometimes if you're, if you're, you know, um, you know, cooking, you got, you know, messy hands, messy less thing you want to do is like grab the faucet and, you know, and, uh, and so it just goes beyond, you know, just now the aesthetic. It's now now practicality, mm -hmm. you know. Just there, there's so many things, and the, uh, you know, and everything's kind of like proximal and and exactly where it needs to be. Yes, that makes sense. Like things just it just makes sense, and um, and of course the, the upgraded uh, appliances, everything that you get, the acrylic cabinets, or, or you know, or what you know. So it's mm -hmm. you know, th again, the materials I think just goes a long way because you don't see these things in in just normal thing, you know, normal uh, home builds. It's a lot of it's builder grade, which. For those who don't know, it's pretty much like they walk into a big warehouse, they buy something that's off the shelf or off the floor, so the cabinets aren't going to be custom. They're going to be straight up like, here's your box, here's your doors, here's your hardware, and everybody's looks the same. Mm -hmm. But when you go into these custom homes, it's it it, it really is exciting because it's almost like they're building it just from scratch. Like they got you know a bunch of Keebler elves somewhere or whatever, you know, <laughs> and, they're, and they're just tinkering away, <laughs> like making it specific to you guys, and um and. And again, th these are all things, you know, the, 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 the colors that I, I don't know. I just um, I'm, a, I'm just a big fan. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really want to talk um, more ab about what, what the future holds. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how much you're able to divulge. I know you guys also got featured. Yes. On something. So last week uh, we were on uh, HGTV's My Lottery Dream Home mm -hmm. with uh, host David Bromstadt. So back in March. David came to visit us at the Iris, the model in Modern Duran, okay. uh, with a family who had just won a uh, Florida lottery and were looking for a home. Exciting. Very mm -hmm. exciting. And so we did t a full day of shooting. Mm. I got to meet David, who uh, he was absolutely a peach. I mean, such a nice guy, uh, really, really sweet. Big fan, big mm -hmm. fan of, the, of the, uh, the, the home. It's actually, I had not seen... I had only seen the first episode of the show. I, I'm a cable cutter, so I, I haven't <laughs> had cable for I don't know how many years, sure. well, over a decade. So uh, sheepishly, sheepishly, I was like, I actually haven't seen anything but that first episode. And he said, well, we're so happy to be here because this is the prettiest house we've been in in months. And so that, that really made me feel That's good. A <laughs> That's a good My one. family and I love that show. Yeah. yeah. We watch it. I, so I've seen a few more episodes <laughs> now since. And I actually, I just caught the episode. Uh, I downloaded it. So I was watching it this morning. And uh, we were, so Alon was featured with the mm. Modern Duran model home. But the uh, final, the home that was picked is actually a Christopher Burton luxury home. So the, it, that was a custom build, beautiful, right. beautiful home. And you want to talk about finishes. Mm. Just, just gorgeous, yeah. Nice. So uh, yeah, that's exciting. How exciting, yeah. Yeah. Did, did you get Did you get that in writing? This is the best house we've seen in months. <laughs> did he that, say that live? That's a great time. I actually <laughs> might have yes. something in an email <laughs> from the production <laughs> assistant saying we our our team is so pumped to be in a million dollar home because mm. I guess they had been doing because they my first thought too before I knew about yeah. the show was that it was always just these multi million dollar when I think lottery winner mm -hmm. you think big right, bucks right? right? But no, it uh, I guess they do do. We do. We actually lottery winners that are yeah. just a couple hundred thousand or something, yeah. so that it's a modest gotcha. purchase. Yeah. Hmm. So we were supposed to have staged one back right before COVID, and it was just a basic, you know, cute little house. Um, I believe it was up in Titusville, but they ended up having to cut the show because of COVID. They didn't want to bring. You know, it was right, but right as the time the shutdown was taking place. I wouldn't mind but being on that show. I've seen huh, the Jesse? show, right? Not yeah. At all. Yeah. I, 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 I was watching it this morning going, PR. so I need to play the lottery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is when, you know when everybody says, oh, no one wins that? I go, no, no, no. I met them. I, yeah. They do. They really they do. Exist. <laughs> they exist. They exist. They do yeah. exist. <laughs> yeah. But he's right. I've seen the show. You know, I watch mm -hmm. it too. And they most of the time I'm like, wait a minute. You just won the lottery and you're buying a $200,000 house. So that's exciting. Yeah. yeah. This couple, uh, I guess they, they won $6 million. So nice. the episode is called Six Million Reasons to Smile. Ah, yeah. Nice. I love that. Nice. Me too. Yeah. And what's great is, I mean, what, what is like the in the modern Duran? What what do the prices? So go you're through? gonna you're going to come in around a million dollars for the house, and mm -hmm. then the home sites range from I think just under a hundred thousand uh, to about a hundred and fifty, okay. depending on which which lot you're looking at. And that's right now, right today. Today. I can't yeah. promise you that's what's yeah. priced tomorrow, tomorrow because you guys know how the market's be a been. Lot yes. More than that, but <laughs> and uh, of course the price depends can change, go up, you know, depending upon the level of quartz and you the can, finishes. Yeah, you can take a one million dollar base plan <laughs> and you can 
turn it into a four and a half million dollar house. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. We're happy to do it. Right. <laughs> Those gold toilets we were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how many houses I've seen in Brevard County that have those gold swan faucets? How many mm-hmm. have you seen, Jesse? Uh, oh, yeah. A few. <laughs> a few. We're I've not going to name we don't, it. We don't do I've that. Seen them too. No. We don't do that. No, and every time I look at them, I'm like, <laughs> gosh, I could have been s- allocated to so many other <laughs> things. Like, and then, and then they look, you look at the pool, and it's like, that's where the money should have gone. Because <laughs> like, it's just a, you know. The gold swan yeah. faucet's going to go out of style. <laughs> Well, not only that, but you know the upkeep. Right, right. You yeah, know, you're like you got to polish corrosion. that swan all oh, the time. Yeah. You know, it's like, <laughs> 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 you know, you got to keep the, the finish. Swan. You know, <laughs> got to polish it. Um, but yeah, cer- <laughs> certainly there should be like other things, like you know, put a cage around the pool, or you know, solar heat the pool. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. there's other things like I would do with my money, mm-hmm. but that's just me. Um, you know, uh, bathrooms. You know, you're you're in there for a little bit, but I, don't, I mean, I just, you know, and they say kitchens and bathrooms sell the house. But let's be honest, you know, if it if it just doesn't look like Granny's bathroom, it's it's <laughs> I think for most people it's it's okay, you know, keep the doilies away and everything else. Um, but yeah, get, getting getting back to um, the home sites, so there's nine left. They range between 100 and 150, um, and it's first come first curve. Like there's still yeah, there's some available. Yeah, there's 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 ten left in Modern Duran, um, and it is you know. But I heard you had to build in a certain time. Like after you buy no. the house, after you like buy the after lot, after you buy the lot, you, you can't just sit on it. Correct. Right. Yes. Um, so typically, it's it's a, a seamless process. You're right. gonna go. You're gonna get your lot hold. You're gonna pick out your lot, put your lot hold, and then you're gonna sign a design agreement with us, and we're gonna right. sit down and figure out what does your floor plan look like. And then at that point, we figure out how you know we work with that floor plan. Right. It might take a couple weeks. You know, tweak it a few times, and then we come up with okay your finished selection level and mm-hmm. then we go to contract from there and we don't like to do that f- we don't like to take more than 30 days between the two processes see that's a b- that's that's something yeah you know because i know a lot, a lot of people just like to sit on it you know we're not, yeah. yeah yeah we don't and and right now in this market we can't do that right you know it's it's the way real estate is moving right now mm-hmm. um and we don't know when future uh land is going to be released right. you know in other developments where we could potentially have so so we're not gonna we're not gonna hold off mm-hmm. on anything exactly yeah. um and you do build on private lots we do yep mm-hmm. we do we have a f- uh, quite a few currently under construction mm-hmm. all throughout the county like i said there's one down in vero um i think in orchid island is that's vero right mm-hmm. orchid yeah, island? yeah it is um we've yeah. got some down in melbourne beach we've got a few scattered around mm-hmm. yeah we'll do it well, that's exciting. So if you, so if you're listening and you have a lot and you need a builder, um, how how do they find ab- about more um, of the different types of uh, uh, floor plans and, and is there a place to shop or so so right now uh, your best bet is always to just give us a call because we are custom builder. You know we don't really have portfolio plans. We have a few. Um, they're not on the website because we don't okay. we don't want to kind of give that that sense that this is what you get you know right. so you're gonna right. I would say go to our website which is um, either directly for Alon is alonmodernliving.com or mm-hmm. you could go to burtonhomes.com and or even moderndurand.com adelaideandviera.com right. <laughs> they all have the same phone <laughs> number on it uh, they <laughs> So <laughs> it's, it's similar phone numbers depending because the two companies we do have different yep. teams, but uh, walk into come into one of our models. I would tell you that. So yeah. we've got the model in Adelaide, okay. and we've got the model in Modern Duran, and those are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay. Saturdays as well, and then Sunday it's uh, noon to five. So you're gonna your first bet is oh your or your best bet is to just give us a call, talk to one of our sales consultants, uh, and let them kind of walk you through the process and they'll they'll get a feel for you know what your timeline is how big how many square feet you're looking at you know that sort of thing and we can say all right well you know that that's that's gonna exclude this part of Adelaide if you want that many square feet right, or right. so and so so they really they're the specialists gotcha. I, yeah so so there's uh, new custom home professionals standing by at any, either of these models yes all right well we're going to take a, just a short uh break we'll be right back don't go anywhere more to come about elon and of course our guest amy don't more go anywhere. to come
Hi, my name is John Maselli with Movement Mortgage Beachside in the Atlantic. Movement Mortgage is a faith-based organization and our mission statement is as follows. We exist to love and value people by leading a movement of change in industries, corporate culture, and communities. To me, this mirrors my own business philosophy. My goal is to help people finance purchases or refinance current properties stress-free and at great terms. Help people and everything else follows. By the way, if you have equity tied up in your house, the only way to get it out is to refinance. Pull that equity out and pay off high interest debt or build a pool. My office is at 225 5th Ave, Suite 4, Indy Atlantic. Call me anytime at 321-248-6245 or visit my website, loanapplyapproved.com for more information or apply to qualify for a mortgage today. Hi, Michelle Carpenter with Inspiring Home Staging and Redesign. We are Brevard County's premier home staging team founded in 2013. You may ask, why stage your home or listing in a seller's market? Well, let me tell you, staged homes not only sell for 86% faster, but for 17% higher price. We have services for vacant, occupied, and luxury home staging. The definition of home staging is the professional service of preparing homes for sale in a way to appeal to potential buyers that generates a higher sale price. Our mission is faith, family, and community. Your home is your biggest investment, so stage yours today to get a higher price. Contact the team that inspires at 321-806-6543. Are you in the market for a new home? Perhaps you need to sell your old home and downsize or relocate. Hey there, my name is Jesse Hall with eXp Realty, and I offer professional real estate services right here on the Space Coast. Give me a call, 321-877-8737 for all of your real estate needs. Again, 321-877-8737 for all of your real estate needs. Buy, sell, invest with the best. Find out more at 321-BuySellInvest.com. And we're back. Once we're again, th back. This is a Space Coast Real Estate Show. Jesse, John, Michelle... And in the studio, we welcome Amy with um, Elon Builders. Yep. Uh, it's a Chris Burton product. Yes. And specifically, Modern Duran. Yes. Uh, Adelaide. And. Um, on your own lot. On your own lot. So before we left for break, we um, again we're talking about um, you know what's what the uh, available uh, lots are you know in Modern Duran. So from start to finish. What would that look like for somebody to walk into your, for instance, your Adelaide model today where somebody's standing by yes. to take your call or just come in and walk in? And um, what would it take from that first consultation to maybe seeing uh, a home uh, built? Okay, so you're going to, first you're going to do your lot hold, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have about 30 days before you go to your building contract. So in between that, you're going to uh, sit down. Uh, go over the spec, uh, the, you know, the floor plan, figure that out and so forth. And then we come up and we tell you, okay, we designed this home for you in the way that you want it. Here's what it's going to cost. And then we'll, mm. we'll go to contract. And then that's when we start rolling with permits and we start pulling permits. Permits first, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. permits first. Yeah. So that can take between, it, 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 it varies depending, right. of course, on the home you're going to build, the lot it's going to be. A lot of times something to think about, especially if it's on your own lot. What is the site work? Do we have to clear the lot? Do we have mm -hmm. to level it? What do we have to, you know, right. all that sort of stuff. So uh, you're you're looking month to two months typically before those permits are permits are pulled uh, mm -hmm. are ready to go. Uh, and then overall build time right now, what we're saying is about between 16, 18, tw 24 months, depending on mm -hmm. just how complicated the project is, how many change orders. I know that's one mm -hmm. thing people. I don't think that they understand that it is a custom product, but the more changes you make throughout the process, you just keep pushing, you know, anybody who's done a renovation, mm -hmm. I guess, and you've yeah. dealt with a contractor, they'll tell you. But, so this is that 
on a much larger scale. So, and because we are juggling so many trades, you may decide that you want to change something and that's going to now delay. Well, now I have to reschedule these four trades because they were online to be mm-hmm. doing installs or what have you. Right. But because we made this change, it puts this behind. Yeah, things so happen in an order. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So so really working with the design team, um, your sales consultant is, a f- is the first stop mm-hmm. on just narrowing down what you want uh, will help the project go faster. Right. Of course, we, we, we haven't had too many issues yet. Um, and I, I think we're, I think things are getting better, but you know, there was obviously COVID impacted things right. as well as yeah. the lumber, you know, you know, just right. the, the oh my God. you took the question out of my mouth. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. No. Skyrocketed. So when we are now permits are pulled, foundation is laid, things are now moving, the framing, everything else that comes along with it. And then there is a supply chain interruption, right? I mean, there must be, a workaround or or does the contractor pass on that cost now to the buyer or do does a the builder absorb those rises in materials so i can't speak for anybody besides us right (laughs) but when you sign a contract with us that is the price yeah so we know that there's going to be fluctuations in the market right but we don't expect you to follow that that wave with us that's so. <laughs> like that, that's yeah. a really yes. because that, that I mean those are deal breakers. Absolutely. You know, somebody, so you, you you tell people well it's going to take sixteen more weeks before we get something or you know uh, or it's going to cost it you know could derail an entire, yeah. entire multi million project. dollar project. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. That's called integrity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So exactly, and that's <laughs> that's part of of the way that he runs his business. That's mm-hmm. that's a big part of it is that you know we're going to do things with integrity just like yeah. you said mm-hmm. uh, so just let me just kind of speak on that point right. in regards to supply chain supply and demand right uh and the fact that our real estate prices are going up yeah mm-hmm. if you lock in today right. and you buy your lot today you go to design agreement you go to building contract you've locked that in mm. you may not point. walk through the door for two years so just think of where our market has been oh, going yeah. yes and uh you know I, I came from the retail side prior to to working uh on the builder side so right. um most of the agents like jesse i know mm. like where do you th- in two years you'll have built some equity at, mm. at, absolutely at, at this tra- oh, yeah. <laughs> trajectory <laughs> yeah you lot. can walk into you know a uh, 1.2 million dollar house that you paid today and it could be easily appraised for two million yes mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, on this yeah. trajectory, right. you know, not saying it's going to last forever, but right. um, if things continue as they are, yeah, you're going to walk into a bunch of equity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's yeah. that's one of the challenges I have right now is is trying to speak to the urgency. Mm-hmm. We've we're the only ones writing contracts right now in Vieira. We're the only lots available. We don't have right, a lottery. Yeah. You're going to lock in your price <laughs> like, guys, it's now. Now is the yeah. time. It's like locking a raid. If you like it, lock mm-hmm. it. There you that's go. Exactly. Say. Exactly. <laughs> if you like it, lock it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and the lots are going fast. You know, there's um, everybody's got their idea of which mm. lot is the best, and um, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you know, there's there's always going to be competition too. So mm-hmm. get in before the competition. Right. Yeah, at least go pr- at least go preview it, and you know, and if you can make some sense of it, you know, if you need to sell your house, mm-hmm. well, we need to sell your house, and then we'll go build. You know, there you but, go. but you know, and we'll, we'll find and rent a, in the process. Yeah, twenty four month lease. Yeah, no problem. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, these are, this is what you have to do when you're building a home. You know, you certainly don't want to be living out of, uh, of an RV or, or <laughs> you know, I mean, I've, I've seen people do this or the extended stay is that like a, you know, <laughs> right, a, a right. Radisson or whatever, you know, so let's, let's avoid That's all that. That's one extreme to the other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Staying at a yeah. <laughs> but, hotel but eight, eight. <laughs> <laughs> and then moving into a 1.1. $1. 1 Eight million, million dollar house. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you got to plan ahead and talk with a professional, you know, but, yes. but certainly, you know, while the market's hot, while you have a lot of equity in your existing home. Mm-hmm. You know, not for nothing. You know, you may want to take advantage of the market and secure a mm-hmm. price again, as as Amy's suggesting. Right. Um, no, and I, I trust me, I would love to, to help. I would love to sell something in there because that's just like my wheelhouse. Like I just, <laughs> like I, I will, I, I don't even need Chris to tell me all the features. I could just, <laughs> you know. Um, but but I'm just so can I can I say something to that yes, point please. and why we want to work with realtors? Yes. It's because we know that obviously, like you said, there's all those other m- moving uh, moving parts to a transaction. Right. And so having a professional on, on your side is always yeah. the way, uh, you know, I personally think you should go. Mm-hmm. And uh, in regards to how we compensate our realtor partners. Listen up. 
Listen up, yes, agents. Yes, listen up, guys. <laughs> so when we were talking about loans before. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, If you are going to finance, we need construction to perm mm-hmm. because we do compensate the realtor at lot close. So you are getting paid within probably 30 days of signing that uh, lot hold and building contract mm-hmm. versus two plus years down the road when we give the certificate of occupancy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a big difference. That's a big difference. Mm-hmm. Two right years. And our paid. construction you to perm loans at <laughs> Movement Mortgage are back. I th- that's great news. That's, that's very good news. <laughs> yes. So you've talked a little bit about the design process. That intrigued me about um, just the whole design. I've built a cu- semi custom built home and you know remodeling and stuff. So and that's up my my alley. Um, do you have a design center? What's that design process look like for a client? Okay, so we we have a design center. It's called the Inspirations Design Center, mm-hmm. and uh, we have a, a team of designers that you're going to work with. We call it, you're going to have your color session. Mm-hmm. So you're going to go and you're going to pick out your your th- color theme or your you know e- that's the thing the is palette yeah. the your palette yeah, yeah. Y- and you're going to uh, pick out everything from your countertops to your hardware to your flooring, lighting. Mm -hmm. Um, We work closely with uh, a company for all of the automation. Mm -hmm. So all that lighting automation, like, you know, the Lutron lights and everything like that. I know, I know. (laughs) So you're going to go through all of those meetings Mm -hmm. in that process while the permits are getting uh, acquired and so forth. You're going to have that color session. You're going to meet with the automation experts. You're going to meet if you're designing a pool. We want you to get in with our our pool contractor to figure out how that's going to look. Uh, it typically takes, from what I understand, it's like two to three days, and it's full mm-hmm. day. I mean, it is it is full day, which can be overwhelming for some people, but we have really great designers. Um, we work with... Um, Sounds fun. I think my wife would be loving yeah, that. Yeah. I, I, uh, <laughs> uh, when I when I came on board, we took a visit down there, and it was like a kid in a candy store. Everything was yeah. sparkling mm-hmm. and just, oh gosh, it's so beautiful. So mm-hmm. many choices. So <laughs> many choices. So, um, and you can you can pick out absolutely everything on your own. You can have the designer help and work closely with you. Um, we even have some homeowners who just say, Chris, go for it. Nice. I trust you. I love everything you build. Please, you know you know me. You know what I, this is what I like. I trust you. Let me see what you can do. And, right. of course, you know, Chris never def- disappoints there. Right, right. Um, so it's a lot of fun. I know that, uh, like I said, it's two to three days. It can be intense, mm-hmm. but we try and prepare you for it and – try and uh, get our clients to really think hard about what they want ahead of time. So you're kind of going in there with a little bit of, um, you know, idea of, although I'm sure you know, you go in with one idea <laughs> and, <laughs> and you change all the choices yes. and you're like, oh, wow, I really like that new granite or that cabinet. Yes. Yeah. No one who has a Pinterest cool. board has only three pins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> five <laughs> countertop choices, five cabinet choices. Yeah, it seems like lighting. quartz seems to be mm-hmm. most popular. Now, right. would you say, in your experience, that's the most popular right now? That's what I'm seeing the most yeah. with, you know, clients that are doing renovations or even investors that are doing renovations. Investors, it may depend on the price point and the location of the home. They may choose granite over the quartz because of the price point. But I am seeing granite. I mean, qu- the quartz. Yeah, more. so a lot of those things like that quartz countertops might be considered an upgrade with mm. a traditional portfolio builder. Mm-hmm. So take the luxury premium level of your standard uh, portfolio builder and right. consider that below our base. Mm. You know, we really right. start at, at just a le- level of fit and finish. Like that is level. Exactly. That's nice. Yes. So that's kind of included so quartz, in that, yeah. fo- that, that starting base price? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And then you can, like you said, you can just amp it up oh and wow. keep going from that's there. Good. Our new model in Adelaide that we're building, the one that I said... Uh, it's going to be, it's called the Andros, and that one, I think we're going to be priced around 2.4. Don't quote me on that, though. Okay. So, we're, we're getting up there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well really appointed. Nice. Oh, it's going to be gorgeous. Just and wait. what was the square footage on that one you said? I think it was about 6,000. 6, yeah. yeah. That's just such a big home. What's the range of square footage? You know, like, I mean, I know they're custom, so they can vary, but... So the as far as the requirement, because they have the lot requirement. So in in Adelaide specifically, we're talking about. So in Modern Duran. So Modern Duran, uh, you've got between. So you've got just those those specific floor plans to pick from. The uh, right. of course you can tweak them here and there, but you, they range from uh, twenty one eighty for the iris, 
Um, and then there's, I think, two different plans that are just around, just over 3,300. Okay. Uh, the lots themselves are just under, I think they're like 0.28, 0.23, right. depending. Smaller they're smaller lots. I think the large, some of the larger lots have already sold, of course. So, like, get your lot now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so, but in Adelaide, you can go. I mean, you're 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 right. square feet. Because there's a lot. Just depends on which part of the community you're in, because mm-hmm. there's minimum square footage in some of them. Right. Yeah. But as far as the Elon um, community area of Adelaide. Oh, those. Well, so there's not a community. Lot. It could be any well, lot. Oh, so okay. yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. It's any okay. lot in Adelaide. In Adelaide. Okay. Um, I thought it was just one little area. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah. So nice. if you if you build in the park, obviously you're going to be restricted to some of the smaller. Uh, floor plans that we have but if you're building in the reserve i mean okay the sky's the limit. and you can buy the uh, you can build the elon in, in any area yes. of the adelaide nice yes. mm-hmm. very good so you get a lot of options there yeah so okay. many options i know now you guys work all the way until the landscaping as well like that that's included in design package yeah. yep we do landscaping okay. as well all of that yeah well, one thing I've, I've i found just um just so uh, how do you say refreshing is the uh and and don't pick on me. Um, <laughs> it's the garage doors. Yes. They don't look like garage doors. They don't. You know, and they, they even like lift like, like all like and cool quiet. and techy. They yeah. are very quiet. Yeah. They're very quiet, and uh, there'll be times where I'm trying to get in using you know a garage code on one of our our properties for some reason, mm-hmm. and it I'll be standing in front of the keypad, but the door is over there, and I. Like compl- I've been opening and closing it because I don't think it's happening. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it's so quiet. Cool. I can't hear it. It's not Why opening. isn't this code working? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, little things like that. And and what about like other luxurious appointments that some people don't even think is available? Like, do you guys um do like a uh, like floor warming or anything else like that? Mm. I haven't heard about anybody get it mm-hmm. getting heated floors. I mean, I don't think we need it that yeah, often here. Right. Um. Obviously, I'm trying to think what's like the most luxurious feature I've heard yeah. about. I mean, saunas. Yeah, yeah. saunas, infrared you know, saunas. Kind of thing, yeah. Yep. I mean, it's it's like steam, steam, showers. steam showers. The steam showers are big. Yeah. So yeah. those are cool. I all of his showers are the uh, frameless mm-hmm. glass door. I love those. Yeah. Yeah. With the um the trench drains which mm-hmm. i love those linear mm-hmm. drains so cool. i know so cool right <laughs> so cool. uh <clears throat> the the rain head shower is a big yeah. thing uh there is i'm trying to remember i think i can't remember which floor plan it is but one of the really cool features so one of the things about adelaide mm-hmm. backing up there right i promise it all makes sense it <laughs> all goes together <laughs> right. so adelaide is a community that is really great if you are working in one of the local hospitals you know how mm. those doctors have to be within a certain commute oh. right. so yeah adelaide fits the bill for i think three of the four hospitals oh so nice. you've got i think you can go to cape canaveral not cape canaveral um rockledge yeah you've got rockledge you've Cocoa got beach yeah. causeway that's the one i'm yeah. thinking of yeah, yeah. i think that's cape that canaveral is hospital it is called cape yeah. canaveral yeah. hospital yeah. but yeah. it is yeah. so you've got all the so it's a really great spot if you are um, like a surgeon or something like Mm -hmm. that you've got you're within your commute time for emergency purposes and one of the features that they had is when you come off out of the garage Mm -hmm. there's actually a door from the garage that will go into the primary owner's suite bathroom Mm -hmm. so consider it and when covid was happening Mm -hmm. right pull into the driveway come into your garage oh, go into your bathroom shower off put your clothes away there's even disinfect you know, sterilize the, the seriously bed cave like yeah. I, n- I yeah. never thought about it but right. they said no this is actually a, a really popular feature with our surgeons mm-hmm. and yeah. doctors who when they're coming off shift right. mm-hmm. come in come home and can just mm-hmm. come right into their bathroom shower up clean up and then then go meet the family in the family room it's nice. almost like a mud room, yeah. but for doctors. Yeah. My, my <laughs> wife's an emergency room doctor, and she does that, but yeah. through the garage, she like <laughs> takes all her shoes off and <laughs> comes into the laundry room. So, so we, so we make it just a teensy bit more luxurious. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I worked in a hospital when I was in college, so I didn't even have any of those luxuries. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm trying to think of any other. So, one of the features that uh, is also very popular is the hidden pantry. So, if you mm. go into right now our our model, so we, we're also building in Casabella. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. is just with Burton, not with Alon, though. Right. Um, and Casabella is in their final phase. Um, the model home that we have in there right now has the hidden pantry feature. So it just nice. looks like it's more cabinetry, but right. you, you know, you push it's it, and, it, and it's a and hidden room. It opens room, up. I and love you've got wow, a, that's you, great. Yeah, you've love got it. like a, a whole room. I love hidden rooms. A hidden room. The best. I'm a big, I'm a big <laughs> fan. Hide and seek. <laughs> I've seen uh, people have uh, clients will put full 
uh, appliance suites in there. So a second fridge, uh-huh. uh, microwave, Washington. and se- yeah, d- second dishwasher. So if you know you've got a big family you like to entertain, right. it it functions as a butler's pantry without being an I- exposed, exactly. mm-hmm. so which cool. is pretty cool. Yeah, nice. yeah, and actually, I have seen some people put washer and dryer too oh, right there. Nice. So there's, I mean, there's so many cool features. What are, wh- yeah, whatever you want to happen. Um, what about like fire and water features? So the fireplaces, uh, depending, I guess, if you're where you build, gas mm-hmm. or electric, but a lot of them, the electric fireplaces have all of the fun color features. Mm-hmm. And um, we've got the the model home right now in Adelaide has this incredible feature for the pool where the water comes from the ceiling yes. into the spa tub. Ooh. That's wow. so cool. Yeah, it's really, it's really cool. It's, it's really beautiful. that's for the pool outside. That's Plus the pool with the gas service, you can kind of put fire... Yeah, we put, we've got fire pits by the pool built in. You know, you could have fire bowls. Yeah, you can have like a Hell's mm. Kitchen <laughs> fire no, sign I'd in the front I'd of your I'd house I'd with I'd your love, address on it. I love just a little flame along like a backdrop of the pool. <laughs> mm. you know, yeah, that's like awesome. Just, just a little fire feature. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, love that mm-hmm. stuff. Love that kind of stuff. So as far as finishes, are you seeing more of the bronze, like with the Elon, you know, build, um, is it more chrome? Is it the gold coming back? What are you seeing? A lot I of? haven't seen the gold in the Elan yet. Okay. Um, I'm wondering because I'm I'm actually a fan and I like the mixed metal mm-hmm. look, but I haven't seen any of our clients go that route yet. Uh, obviously, the matte the, gold. The, yeah, the matte gold. I ha- so I haven't seen anything that's been completed yet with that, but that doesn't mean that there's something in process. Not I just right, don't know. You know, we've got it's not complete. Like I know the burnt bronze for a long time right. has been like you know very high end. You know that that are brushed um, uh, oh, rub nickel. Bronze. I mean, you know, so there's a yeah. couple different ones. You know, now the matte black seems to be really mm. popular. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I will say, like the smoky colored gray mm. on the appliance. I don't know yes. if it's necessarily considered smoke or gray, whatever. Right, right. Uh, that that's. It really looks yeah. really good, and mm-hmm. we do those counter depth fridges mm-hmm. too, which I love. That's an upgrade. That's you don't right. think you don't right. think about the difference that exactly. that makes. Yeah, that makes a huge Man, difference. it makes a huge difference. Yeah. <laughs> so, what kind of like backyard features are there? Are there any like um, you know like outdoor kitchens and yeah. like mm. gazebos and oh yeah, things so out- like that? Outdoor kitchens are always on the list as an option, um, and you can you can trick those out. Obviously, we've seen barbecue pits. Oh yeah, smoker pits, smokers, <laughs> grills, <laughs> televisions, right, right kegerators, kegerators, kegerators. Yes, yes. Um, uh, you know, full appliances if you need out there, and you know that's another nice thing too. It's right. on gas. You got a hurricane. So yep. So you guys pre-gas, like pre-line, you know, pre-line mm-hmm. to the exterior. That's not a, that's like an inherent feature. It's not something you have to ask for, right? Right. To have the gas line just come out to the wall because yes. then you could plug into a grill or whatever. Yeah. Right, right. If right. we're not building your kitchen, right. you're you're stubbed out. Right, exactly. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, again, these are little things that if you are going to build, it's a headache to do it after a the fact. Mm-hmm. So, if, if you don't have a builder that's already kind of thinking ahead and offers yeah. that just mm-hmm. by default – then you know that you really got to ask for that because yeah. not everybody will, will n- yeah. they'll, they won't do that for you. Like how about green tech too? So like, you know, uh, electric car chargers and oh solar yeah. panels and. So definitely for the electric car chargers, I haven't seen any solar panels. Um, I know that was, I've been asked that question a lot specifically in modern Duran because they, you know, smart home and mm-hmm. so forth. Yeah. One of the things I will say it's in order for the solar to become uh for you to get a return on your investment it, it's really not worth it because right. by the time you install the technology is almost obsolete right so that's mm-hmm. kind of one of those yep. things that's happening with solar and because of the way that those ceilings are so high mm-hmm. you're the, to use the solar you're not going to recover you're that's not really going to that recoup- was always my hesitation with yeah. solar because mm-hmm. i did the math on it and it was just like it takes mm, ten, ten kinda years doesn't really add up yes. to maybe see a savings eventually yeah. and, and by, by that then, time I mean, I'd rather have exactly. already failed. You got to replace it. I'd rather exactly. have a generator. Well, the you're technology right. is going to be out of date by that time, and you're going to have to almost replace the whole unit or the whole system of the yeah. the solar. Exactly, and the way that our homes are built, mm-hmm. it's they are energy efficient to begin right. with. So you're not really having to compensate mm-hmm. for a, a home that wasn't properly constructed right. to stay, you know, insulated. You know, we do the yeah. the spray foam insulation mm-hmm. and so forth like that, and for the Elan product, you've got the six-inch p- solid poured concrete. So 
you know, you've got yeah. a completely you're different not, with a. And you're not losing air conditioning. No, no, no. <laughs> no these these homes are these homes are airtight. Yeah. And is the concrete, um, since they have the the higher elevation in the second floors, does the concrete pour concrete go up to the second floor as well, or is it just first floor construction? Question you know what? There. That is a good that is a good question because the the model we have right now is a single story, so I haven't seen a second story get built, and so okay. I'm I think the second story is I think it's frame on the second floor, okay. which is which is typical. However, there right. is there is one under construction in Adelaide, and at least in the the yeah. the entry point I know it's poured all the way to the Almost. second story right. so it's possible it's mixed on mixed. the second floor mm -hmm. yeah yeah I think that's the way that the in the Atlantic house was if I remember correctly okay it yeah. was mixed on yeah. the top mm -hmm. floor yeah. yeah and those those flat commercial roofs are actually um, we like to say mm -hmm. you know it's the same same thing you see on a Walmart it is it is a commercial grade roofing system mm -hmm. um, it is uh, sloped really precisely uh, so small that you can't even tell but so that the water properly rolls off and I know we we mentioned the mm -hmm. integrated gutter system and everything mm -hmm. like that so um, it's it's a level of uh, design and a construction process that takes longer than a traditional mm -hmm. build uh, but lasts ultimately right way longger mm -hmm. and uh, uh, it looks you know it looks the way it looks mm -hmm. in right. 20 years they're still gonna look exactly like, right like they're 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 still like advanced you know I mean it, yeah. it, I'm, yeah. I've, I've been a, a big fan um, any closing remarks mm -hmm. or last questions guys well I'd just like to say this is very informative very and we're glad to have you yeah. absolutely this thank, you. Thank, thank you thank you this is a lot you. of fun and and it. we'll have to take a field trip you can only believe it's already been an hour yeah. like yeah. we're already like on our 61st really? minute um, but yeah time does fly when you're having fun uh, we proved that so over true. and over again here. Um, but Amy, where can people find you one last time? And anything else you want to plug? Any kind of um, uh, new new uh, models, of course, just to reiterate. And um, and again, anything happening new uh, within within the the agency? Okay, so uh, I would say you can find us at e elonmodernliving.com, uh, burtonhomes.com. I uh, want to plug, come see our models, model mm -hmm. home in Adelaide. We've mm -hmm. got a model home in Modern Duran. And I would also say, please come see our model home in Casabella because we're about to give it over to its new owners. Mm -hmm. It's about to become retired. So if you're interested in Casabella, please come by soon. And I think uh, that's it. I'm, we're looking forward to seeing all of our realtor partners at Parade of Homes this fall. Nice. Hopefully our new model will be featured and spotlighted. Yeah. I'm so sure. Yes. Yeah. I know. If I have anything to do with it, it will be. <laughs> <laughs> so that's 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 it for now, I think. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks so much for having me, guys. Our pleasure. Thank John, you. can I say goodbye? Yeah. Um, this is John Maselli, Movement Mortgage, LoanApplyApproved.com. And again, our, my new address is heroes.loanapplyapproved.com. You can reach me at 321-266-0703. Michelle Carpenter, Inspiring Home Staging and Redesign, inspiringhomes321.com, 321-806-6543. And thank you so much for tuning in to another Space Coast Real Estate Show episode. Until next time, guys, take care. Bye.